hospital is like a zoo today. Mary, can I borrow your red blouse tonight? Hang on, let me put my bag down. You got a hot date? Who is he? You don't know him. I met him at work, but I really like him. You look really great tonight. Thanks. It's a real special night. He says he's planned a romantic evening. Oh, really? Where is he taking you? I don't know, but I'm real excited. I think he might be the one for me. Wow. Have you thought about protection? Protection? Protection from what? Protection from getting pregnant. It's called contraception. Here, let me show you. I use these in my sex education classes. What are all these things? These are birth control pills, also called the pill. Most of the women I know who are sexually active use these. They're great at preventing pregnancy if you use them the way the doctor is ordered on the prescription. That means every day, and you need to be on them for a few months prior to using them as the only means of birth control because it takes that long to work. Using a condom for the first few months would be a good idea, just to be sure. How do the pills work? Well, they work by fooling your body into not releasing eggs so there can be no fertilization. Now, they even have implants that a doctor can surgically place in your arm. It's called Norplant, and it can prevent pregnancy for up to five years. What's that? <laughs> That's what I used to use. It's called an intrauterine device, or IUD. It's a plastic device which, when placed into the uterus by a doctor, changes the character of the uterine wall, which prevents a fertilized egg from implanting. Was that painful? No, but I didn't like the idea of having something always inside me. So for a while, I used this. It's called a diaphragm. Before having sex, I would place spermicidal cream around it and then place it inside myself. Where did you get that? The doctor specially fit it to my size. By being curious and asking questions about various forms of birth control, Sue is learning a lot about contraception. Is there anything I can use without having to go to the doctor? Sure. Um, some of my friends use the sponge, which is a non-fitted barrier device available over the counter. And there's also the vaginal condom, which is taped to the outside of the vagina and then tucked inside like a condom. And then you use spermicidal cream, foam, or gel for further prevention of getting pregnant or transmitting diseases. Do any of these things prevent pregnancy as well as the pill? Not quite. These barrier devices have a failure rate of 10 to 15 percent. Let's review the contraception methods we just learned about. Yeah. Hey. Hey, Mary. I'm glad to see you're talking to a little sister about contraception. But you know, it shouldn't only be up to the woman. Men should share in the responsibility, too. A lot of men use condoms. Those are sheaths that are put over the penis, and if everything works right, the sheath traps the sperm in the tip of it, and that prevents conception. Wow, Jim, I didn't know you were so responsible. I thought you let your girlfriends rely on the rhythm method. <laughs> rhythm method? What's that? The rhythm method, also known as family planning and fertility awareness, tries to predict when sexual intercourse would most likely result in pregnancy by careful monitoring of the woman's natural menstrual cycle and avoiding contact at those times. This has a very high rate of failure. Yeah, it's not much better than coitus interruptus. That's where a man takes his penis out of the woman's vagina just before he ejaculates. But it doesn't work very well because sperm-filled fluid is released from the penis even before he feels orgasm. I can't see mom and dad using any of these techniques. They did use some of them for a while, but then after you were born, dad had a vasectomy. A what? A vasectomy. That's a minor surgical procedure that a doctor performs on a man, and he cuts this little tube called the vas deferens that carries sperm from the testicles to the urethra. That prevents sperm from coming out of the penis. And a woman can have her fallopian tubes tied, preventing the egg and sperm from uniting. This is called a tubal ligation. And many times, but not always, these procedures can be reversed. You know, Mary, the only sure way to prevent pregnancy is through abstinence. That's not having sexual intercourse at all. Without the penis entering into the vagina, a man's sperm can't reach the egg. But what about contact with toilet seats or stained sheets? 
No, those are old wives' tales. No object nor any other sexual relations besides sexual intercourse can ever result in a pregnancy. But you have to be careful because ejaculation near the vagina may result in a pregnancy. By the way, the only sure way to prevent the transmission of the HIV virus is also abstinence. All the other forms of contraception are totally useless for that, except for using latex condoms and special creams. The name of the game is not only to prevent pregnancy, but also to maintain good health. In reviewing the new information we've learned, we see the two ineffective methods of contraception are the rhythm method and early removal of the penis. Surgical contraception for men is a vasectomy. Surgical contraception for women is a tubal ligation. The only 100% effective method of birth control is abstinence, not having sex. Abstinence also prevents transmission of the HIV virus.